What's going on guys? Jonathan here with TLD and today HP unveiled their new tablet, the HP Touchpad, uh, which is scheduled to hit the market sometime this summer. We don't know exactly when or the exact pricing. Uh, what we do know right now at this point is sometime this summer they're going to see a 16 and 32 gig version uh, with the 3G and 4G versions coming at a later point. Uh, so I know a lot of people are right away going to compare it to the iPad. We can't really compare it to the first generation because by the time this comes out, uh, the iPad 2 will have already come out and probably sold millions. So I'm going to do my best to kind of compare the uh, new touchpad with the iPad 2 tentatively uh, as far as the specs so far what we've seen uh, so let's go ahead and jump right into it taking a look at the touchpad first it's gonna rock a dual core 1.2 gigahertz snapdragon processor uh, from what we've seen so far I can expect a dual core 1.2 gigahertz CPU uh, so they should be pretty even as far as the processors go in the upcoming iPad 2 obviously that could change slightly uh, but from all the stories and speculation we've seen so far it looks like we should see a dual core 1.2 gigahertz in the iPad second generation. As far as the display goes, currently the iPad has a resolution of 1024 by 768. Uh, it looks like it's going to keep that for the second generation and the touchpad carries that exact same resolution, 1024 by 768, so they are dead even there. Now as far as the storage go, like I mentioned earlier in the video, the touchpad is going to come out with either 16 or 32 gigs of storage. Uh, currently the iPad goes in 16, 32, and 64. I wouldn't be surprised to see the second generation support maybe a 32, 64, possibly even a 128. We'll have to wait and see as far as that goes, but currently uh, the iPad has the edge as far as storage goes. As far as the cameras go, the touchpad is going to have a 1.3 megapixel webcam on the front. Doesn't look like we're going to get anything on the back as far as rear facing cameras. Now for the iPad 2, looks like we're going to get two cameras, one on the front, one on the back. However, the uh, front facing camera looks to be a 0.3 megapixel versus the 1.3 on the touchpad. Uh, they're not going to have the rear facing camera on the touchpad, but it looks like they do have the edge as far as the front facing camera goes. And like I said, all these are tentative specs on the iPad too, so don't go jumping out of your pants uh, yelling at me. So I'm just trying to make a kind of educated guess of what we should see since the iPad should be out in the next month or two and the touchpad isn't even out yet. The biggest thing that impressed me with the touchpad obviously had to be the web OS software. It actually looked really smooth. It was kind of laggy at some times from what I've seen on the videos. Um, but other than that, multitasking email, I saw some cool features with text messaging. Even though there's not a phone integrated into that, uh, had a lot of cool features. So like I said, this is my best guess uh, as far as what I can do from here. So you guys are going to have to bear with me as far as the specs go. Um, like I said, this is just a tentative release. Uh, and I'm going to get more details once we see obviously the iPad 2 specs. And then we got to see as far as pricing goes uh, on the HP touchpad and when it's coming out exactly because summer I mean it could be June July August we don't know exactly when it's coming out uh, like I mentioned early early in the video by then the iPad 2 will probably have sold millions and millions of units by those so like I said this has been kind of like an educated guess hope you guys enjoyed that hopefully you guys uh, aren't jumping out of your seat that the iPad 2 ain't out yet but I just want to bring a video to you guys kind of take a first look at the HP touchpad make sure to check out our two latest videos we just set up a new TLD newsletter the links right here and down below check that out and I'll catch you guys later.